what's up you guys welcome back to my channel for today's video we are doing archer's six month six update months. today is his half birthday <laughs> halfway to a year <laughs> all right we're back uh we we were a little too excited about the uh half birthday but we're good now um i yeah i say this every single month but i can't believe he's six months old yeah halfway to a year that's crazy that's crazy so yeah, um, if you haven't seen any of our update videos before, I basically like keep in my notes things that I noticed uh, as the weeks go on, and then we kind of just do like a general update, mostly for ourselves. No, a lot of people don't watch these videos, <laughs> but uh, I like to have them. I think it'll be fun for him when he's older, and also just to kind of compare for future babies and stuff. So, so for 22 weeks, I put these super ticklish under his armpits and on his sides. He's just like a really ticklish baby. Yeah, I don't ticklish. know if babies are normally ticklish, but I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to tickle him right now because I don't want him to get mad again. Are you too much ticklish? But yeah, he's like a really, really ticklish baby. Um, we moved him into size 3 diapers, but I'm pretty sure they were too big because he had like a blowout literally like twice a day. Because um, he's got really tiny, a tiny waist, but he's like a bigger baby. So he's in size 3 diapers now. He pets the cats and it's so cute because it's so gentle. Like if Caleb is the cat and the cats like let him near, let him near them now a little more, but he was petting my parents' cat. He just so gently will just like rub his fingers through their fur. Like he doesn't grab their tails. He's oh. so gentle. It's so cute. He finally started sleeping on his side, which has made things, I mean, actually kind of made things really difficult. But the side sleeping made things a lot easier because he just wasn't comfortable on his back. So he started sleeping on his side this month. Um, which was really, really nice because when he'd wake up on his back and he was mad, he would like figure out how to roll over onto his side and go back to sleep. So that's good. So he's comfortable sleeping on his back. And he finally started taking baths in the bathtub. Yeah. Oh, okay. He got too that? long for the sink. Yeah, he really liked bathing in the sink and he like, did not like the bathtub. And then we had to move him into the bathtub because he was too big for the sink. And now he loves the bathtub. He plays in the bathtub every night and... It's really fun for us, too, because he just looks so freaking cute yeah. in his little, his little bathtub. So he started bathing in the bath. Then at 23 weeks, he started, like, reaching out for us. Like, mm -hmm. he does that now, but he started doing that this month, which is so He does it to the cat. Cute! Too. Yeah, he does it to the cat. I really like anything if he sees that he wants it. He kind of just, like, goes like this. Yeah, he's, like, laying down and he wants us. Now he started, like, reaching out for us, which is really, really cute. Um, oh, I put that. Reaches out for us, the cats, and his faraway toys. He touches our faces now, too, so if you, like, oh, yeah. put... Maybe he'll just do it. You like lean into his crib and hey. stuff. He just reaches up and grabs your face. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not what I that's not what I wanted, but yeah. So he'll like. I'm just gonna use you as a prop. He'll just like touch <laughs> your face now and like loves to like grab Caleb's beard and stuff. We started giving him food when he turned four months old. Yeah. Um, but he's been like obviously trying new foods as time goes on. So he really loves peaches, pears, broccoli, and green beans. At least that's what he loved the week that I wrote this down. I vote he absolutely will not sleep. This, this month has been really, really fun. Like, he's been so fun, yeah. but he just has not wanted to sleep for straight up the past month. Right. He just, like, is really, really difficult with sleeping. Like, doesn't take long naps. Like, wakes up every hour to two hours all night long. He's just not a, not a great sleeper. So, yeah, I wrote, absolutely will not sleep. He rolls over onto his belly and freaks out. He's getting better about that now, um, but what, at the time when he first started learning how to roll over, he'd roll over onto his belly and just scream and freak out like every 45 minutes all night long. So we were up like every 40 minutes all night having to flip him back over. Uh, he started screeching really, really loud when he's happy. He still does that now. Uh, I'll insert like, like a clip. Ear piercing. Yeah, I'll insert a clip here. He screeches really, really loud. He just like keeps getting louder and louder with his screeches and he just giggles all the time. That's why this month has been so fun. He's just so talkative and giggly and screechy. Uh, at 24 weeks, he finally started sleeping on his belly. He's not 100% there yet. He'll still freak out a little bit, but he's definitely much better about sleeping on his belly. Like I'll put him down in his crib on his side usually now and he flips over onto his belly like pretty much immediately and is getting a lot better about just staying there and going to sleep and realizing that he's comfortable on his belly. So. Hopefully that'll help with the whole sleep thing in the next few weeks. Uh, he loves tags on things. Like, um, this is, he if, if you watch our recent videos or any of our videos with him, he does not like pacifiers, so it's really funny that he loves this toy. But he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't suck, suck on, on it. He just chews on it, but it's like his favorite toy right now. 
So anyway, he loves tags. Like, if you give him a toy and it has a big tag on it, he'll play with the tag and not the toy. He just loves to chew on tags, which is funny. Uh, he is obsessed with applesauce. We gave him applesauce for the first yeah, time this week, and that's, like, his favorite thing. He loves applesauce. He started giving kisses, which is my favorite thing ever. Kissing. Like, you, you say, give me a kiss, and he goes... It's so cute. I love it. It's so fun. He doesn't give Caleb kisses, though. He just gives me kisses. And he gave my dad kisses, so Rude. that was really, really cute. Rude. Um, we started working on night weaning that that lasted a day. We that, <coughs> that, that didn't happen anymore. But we started working on that and started trying to get him to put himself to sleep at night, which, which he really is yes, doing for the most part. Bed, um, sure. Well, I'll feed him. And then I'll put him in his crib or we'll calm him down and put him in his crib and we'll just kind of do the thing where he like cries and we'll go in and like tell him it's okay and not pick him up. And he's getting much better about like not screaming bloody murder and eventually putting himself to sleep. Uh, yeah. It doesn't seem to be helping him sleep long term at night, which is what I read that if they like put themselves to sleep in the first place, they'll sleep longer. And that's not the case for us. Um, but I think, sleep I mean, all no these... rhyme or reason when he... When he sleeps longer, yeah. you do the same exact thing, and then he sleeps 20 minutes. Right, yeah, like the other night he slept from 12 to 5, which he's never done before. So we did the exact same thing the next day, and he woke up every hour and a half. So every baby's different, we just gotta, you know, help him figure it out. But So we started trying to do that, which isn't really working, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and then he also is able to sit up by himself for a few seconds. He's definitely wobbly, and he can't hold himself up, like, for good. But, um... He's getting there. He's gonna yeah. be. I think he's gonna be able to sit soon for sure. He's yeah. definitely working on sitting. He's really just lazy. He'd rather <laughs> stand, and he doesn't want to sit. So like, if you sit him up, he knows you're there, so he'll fall back into you. But if you like walk away, he'll just sit there. Right. So I think he's just lazy and like doesn't want to do it. But he's almost. He's getting there to be able to sit on his own. And then this past week, he's finally starting to grow hair, which I'm actually really sad about. I love his little bald head. He, I mean, he's still really bald. But he's starting to get enough hair that, hello, ah, upside down. He's starting to get enough hair that you can actually like feel it on his head and it's starting to like look like hair. It gets like a little alfalfa sometimes, it'll just, like stick up on the top. So starting to get hair. He giggles at pretty much everything Caleb does. <laughs> yeah. Like if you go. So he just is super giggly. Uh, if you like go, he normally giggles. It's usually if you startle him. Yeah, he likes to be scared. Giggle. It's like he loves peekaboo. Uh, oh. he, he likes when Caleb goes, spoop. Yeah, just a little <laughs> spoop on his nose. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, super giggly. He loves to be scared. Um, the cats are getting more comfortable him, with him, which is nice. Rumi will go up and like rub against him sometimes, and she lets him pet her. So that's good. It's been a long time coming for that. He kicks his feet now when he's excited, so like we'll carry him in the front pack and just go for a walk. And he loves cars and he loves traffic, so every time a car drives by, he like kicks his feet really hard, or he kicks his feet really hard while he eats in his high chair or while he's in the bathtub. So like whenever he's really happy or excited, he kicks his feet. Uh, he loves watching cars and going on walks. We went on three different walks yesterday because he loves like going out and watching the cars and looking at the trees and stuff. He loves power lines too. Yeah. He's just like staring up at the power lines. Yeah. I think he's probably just bored Curious. of this apartment because he's a quarantine baby and he's been in these four walls for a long time. So we've been taking him out more. He started doing this thing where after he's done breastfeeding, he looks up at me and he grabs my face and he just talks to me, which is so freaking cute. Like his talking lately though, is he goes, ah, right? So whenever he's done breastfeeding, he like reaches up and just grabs my face and just goes, ah, and it's so freaking cute. So that's been fun. He started grabbing his feet. I know that around like six months, babies start to get more flexible and they notice their feet. And when you change his diaper now, he'll like reach and like grab his feet or like when he's in the bathtub or something. And then the most recent thing that I actually just wrote down yesterday is he's like doing this talking thing with his tongue where he like, <laughs> But he talks about he does it. He's like, yeah. I can't even do it. He's like blowing spit bubbles. Yeah, he like blows spit bubbles but it. talks at the same time and plays with his Boost. tongue. It's yeah. like so funny, but it's his new little thing to do. So that's fun. And yeah, I always ask you this and you don't, but do you have anything to add? No, you nailed it as always. I just try to like write down everything so I don't forget because our baby book doesn't have a spot to like write all this stuff down. So I'm glad that we like make these videos, but 
yeah it's been it's been a fun month now you like can't wait for him to start like crawling and running around yeah. and like talking more because i think he's getting bored and it's getting hard just because like it's hard to entertain a baby that can't sit by themselves at the very least yeah and it's hard when like we don't we can't like take him a ton of places or like yeah. take him around a bunch of people i think he's just like getting a little bored because there's only like so many toys to play with so many games to play and he doesn't like tv like we've tried to let him watch tv and he just like does yeah. not care about it Plus, it's been so hot that we did like we didn't want to put sunscreen on him too early right so we couldn't really take him outside too yeah. long he did go swimming this month i didn't yeah. was that the, for, for the first time this month or last month but he's been swimming a couple times he really likes it in the pool so that's yeah. fun so this is what he looks like right now he's poor <laughs> poor thing has a drool rash all over his face because he drools so much and now that he sleeps on his belly he like just sleeps in his own drool but He's got bright blue eyes, just like the tiniest little bit of hair, and oh my goodness. <gasps> He's so cute! If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Uh, I'll try to get Archer in some more videos. I've been doing a lot of sit-down videos lately, so he hasn't been in them, but I'll try to do... We don't go anywhere and do anything. So like once the world... Opens. Closes again what? and then opens back up, uh, we'll take him out and we'll do more like family vlogs, but... Yeah, I guess that's all we have to say. So thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.